This is Ubiquiti's new AI bullet camera. It's been in early access for a little while and they finally released it. So we're gonna take a look at what comes inside the box, how we set it up and what the specs are of it. Before we jump into the specs, I do have a comparison video coming soon with the G4 bullet and the G4 Pro against the AI bullets. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you know when that's released. Also do remember to like, share and comment down below. The links for the products are down in the description and there are ways to support the channel there as well, which is also through PayPal and the super thanks. As you know, these Ubiquiti cameras are not cheap. But first, let's talk tech specs. The AI Bullet has a four megapixel camera, which does 30 frames per second. It's IP65 rated. It has a five megapixel CMOS sensor. Its viewing angle is 84.7 degrees. It has a quad core processor, which is an A53 ARM chip. 2 gig of RAM, 8 gig eMMC storage, and it's priced at 468 euros or 399 dollars, depending on where you are. This comes in slightly cheaper than the G4 Pro, so I have some big hopes for it. But first, let's take a look at what comes inside the box and get it set up on the Unify Protect. So here is the camera, so let's go ahead and open it. Okay, this is the first time I'm opening this. Uh, ubiquity, if you are watching, this camera is it's not very clean, it's quite dirty and it's dusty that the box that it's come in. So uh, I expect higher standards than that. You can see, if I show you just a little bit closer, you can see actually the dirt marks on it just here. So yeah, not particularly happy with that straight out of the box. So uh, Ubiquiti, you might want to work on your QA for your packaging. But you can see that is a black colored model. It has a similar sort of chassis to the G4 Pro. So it has the metal casing um, for the brackets and we have the wall mounting option here. And it also has the pole mount. So it has the few different mounting options. So depending on whatever you want to choose. It has the tightener. So when you actually put this in this, you can pop this on here which you use to tighten it because getting a grip on this is sometimes quite hard. We have some screws and on the back we have the PoE in and the ethernet slot and a reset button. And then actually inside here we have the QR uh, get started guide and what looks like some terms and guarantee. So pretty much what you would expect in a standard ubiquity box. So let's go ahead and take this camera over to the computer and get it set up and see what options we have within Unify Protect. I have plugged my AI bullet into the network and we can see it's popped up straight away on my Unify Protect saying click to adopt. So I can click on it and click adopt device and that's gonna go off and adopt. Once it's been connected, it will go off and update. Mine's already updated, so I don't need to worry too much about that. So let's quickly run through the settings on the right hand side. You have the AI bullet name, firmware, it's one gigabit and it uses 10,000 kilobits per second bit rate. If we go into the recording mode, you have a recording of continuous detections or never. Uh, you can apply a schedule if you have one. Uh, detections to record, so motion detection. The detection record settings, the recording quality, so 30 frames per second or you have a high frame rate mode if you wanted to do that, but that will reduce your quality as I mentioned at the start. Motion zones and privacy zone. That's what we would look at here and then the settings itself. So we have the AI bullet name, the device group, you can adjust the picture quality, which we'll look at in a second. Sensitivity, the infrared options, camera sounds, status light, overview of information, time, camera name, logo, bit rate, and advanced settings. So this is RTSP feed, and then finally you can manage it. So you can restart the camera from here or unmanage it as well. So if we click on the camera itself and we click play, you can see this is the camera itself. It's just sat, you'll probably see my hand pop up. It's just sat right behind me. Um, we have the volume, we have the high quality, we can full screen it. The main thing we wanna look at is some of the settings in here. So we have the microphone, brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, sharpness, AE mode. So this is all stuff you wanna play around with once it's configured and set up. So relatively easy to set up, no real difference in terms of the rest of the cameras that you have on your Unify setup. If you do have them or if this is your first one, you can play around with these settings just here. So let's go outside and pop it on and see how the image looks in both day and night. Here is me walking towards the AI bullet camera with a license plate which says inside wire. So you will see at what point where the license plate becomes legible and you'll be able to read it. And obviously as I become closer, it gets clearer. 
Now, normally at this point, I would do an audio test, but I've put this in here to show you I've attempted it, but the model that I've got is faulty. So I will have to send this back for an RMA. So there's no audio test, unfortunately. This is me at nighttime walking across the garden. Again, it's about 20 odd meters away. So you can get a rough idea of what that looks like. The camera itself I think did okay, it's nothing less than you'd expect from Ubiquiti, a fairly decent image quality, the build quality is quite good being a full metal housing, however this is probably not the answer you're going to be looking for but I'm going to reserve my judgement until I've done the comparison with the G4 Bullet and the G4 Pro to see where it sits. I do have that comparison video coming soon so remember hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when that comes out. But let me know your thoughts down on the description below. Do you have one? Are you going to buy one? Are you going to add it to your AI lineup? Do you have a G4 bullet already? But for now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.